It is the 8th round of the Tata Steel 2021 Chess Tournament and NJC Penko just beat at Magnus Carlsen, who has been the world champion since 2013. It's pretty sad for me because of course I am a big fan of him. Just like Anishkiri said, every time Magnus loses, a part of me dies and I just feel the same. So let's talk about the match and analyze the game. And you started the game with 1e4. Magnus replied with c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3 and now d6. d4, open Sicilian. c takes d4, knight takes d4. Now knight to f6, knight to c3. a6, the knight of variation. And now bishop to e2. e6, bishop to e3, bishop to e7. And now g4. Now here white is planning to do queenside castling so Andrew started his queenside attack with the pawns. His idea here is to play g5 next. Now b5 by Magnus. Now Andrew plays g5, knight f to d7, a3. Now here Andrew is sacrificing his pawn on g5 but the reason is to get the open g file. And Magnus now takes the pawn on g5. Queen d2. Bishop captures e3, queen captures e3. Now let's see the position here. Here white has 3 active pieces and his queen is very active here. And black has only 1 active piece. Now here the computer says that queen e7 is the best move because it protects the d6 pawn. But Magnus plays the move queen h4 which was an inaccuracy. And from then Magnus had have nothing to do to save the game. Now white plays rook to g1 attacking the g7 pawn. Magnus plays g6, queen set castling by Andrew. Now Magnus realizes that he should have played the move queen to e7 earlier, but it was too late. Okay, so then f4, here the idea is to prevent knight e5. Bishop b7, king to b1, knight to c6. And now Andrew plays knight c takes b5. A captures on b5, knight takes c6, bishop takes c6. Now queen c3, forking the bishop and the rook. So Magnus plays king side castling. Then queen takes the bishop. From then the game cannot be saved. Now here the material is equal. But black pawns are very weak. And white has also some pass pawns. Now Magnus plays d5. E takes d5. Rook f to c8. Now d6 by Andrew. Now queen to d8. Queen takes b5. Rook c to d8. Queen c4, rook takes a3, queen to c7, queen to e8, rook to g5. The idea is to play rook to a5. Rook a4 by Magnus, rook a5 now, rook b4, now b3, rook to b7, queen to c3, now queen to d8. Bishop to f3, attacking the rook, rook to b4, now again queen to c7. Now queen to f6. Now rook to a8 by Andrew, ignoring the sacrifice. Now rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. Now queen to f5. King to b3, rook to b5. Finally queen takes the knight. Now rook to c5, rook c1. Queen takes f4, queen e8 check, king to g7. Now Esipanko played d7 and then the champ resigns in this position. Yes, it is true. Every time Magnus loses, a part of me dies. So that's it for today's video. If you like the video, a sub to the channel would be awesome. See you guys in the next video. Until then, stay hungry, stay foolish.